This data set right here is so big, I can't even open it in Excel. You can see the file size right there. It's a CSV file, and how big is it exactly? Well, it's just over 3 million rows, and we can only do just over 1 million in Excel, at least to open it. So what can we do? Can we even get this into Excel? Well, actually you can. I have some code here that's gonna put this into chunks of about a million. And you can see there, 900,999 and so on. So how I do this, I just use a little bit of code and it's so easy, even if you've never coded before, I'll show you how to do it. It's not that bad. So if that sounds good to you, just keep watching. All right, go ahead and open a blank Excel file, just like this. And if you have the developer tab, great. If not, just go to file here, options, Customize ribbon. And you want to get that developer tab right there and check it and hit OK. Mine's already checked, so we're good there. If you don't want to do that, just hit Alt and F11. That's fine too. Go to this workbook. And I'm going to make this easy for you. This is the code right here. I'm going to put this in the video description. So just go ahead and highlight all this copy it and then we're going to just paste it right in there. It's going to be super simple. Literally, as soon as you hit this, uh, you know, provided that your directory and file name are correct, it's just ready to go. But I'm gonna go over a few things here. You can see I really commented the heck out of this thing. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail, but I'm gonna go over the essentials here, okay? So yes, your directory and, you know, this is where mine is, it's dataset.csv, okay? And you can kind of see what's going on there, where it's starting and all that. So I'm gonna skip over that. This is our big loop right here. This is what's making it all happen. And inside here, the things you want to look at this, do you want this to be into increments of 1 million or do you want a different number? Let's say you want 700,000 instead. Okay, that's totally fine. And do you want to change this here? This is going to be like chunk one, chunk two, and so on. If you want to change that, make sure you change that there. That's the name and these other parts as well. Anytime you change a name of something like that and you see it elsewhere in the code, you wanna make sure to update it. You want it to be consistent, otherwise you're an end of problems. All right, so let's move on to the CSV part here. And so if you ever look at a CSV file, you can open it with a text editor and you can actually see how it works. It doesn't look like a normal Excel spreadsheet. So what we're doing here is we're basically acknowledging that data are split by a comma. And so if they were split by say a pipe, uh, you know, we might do something like that. Uh, but this is going to be a CSV file, okay? That's what we're going to work with here. If you have questions about that, just let me know in the comments. It's totally fine, okay? And I think this is what we need to go. Actually, you know, there's one more thing I want to go over. And this right here, this is not absolutely essential, but what's going on is... I'm going to have field names right here, okay? And so... I want the field names to go into all my tab. If I don't do what I just showed you right there, it's only gonna be in my first tab and not the other one. So I make sure that like if you have ID, name, whatever, it's in all of your tabs. That's the reason I did that. Like I said, not necessary, but it makes it look a lot cleaner, all right? So when we feel like we're good to go, let's go over here to run. And we wanna run this sub, okay? Give it a minute or two or five if you have to. Don't feel like your computer's freezing up. It just takes a while. It depends on how big your data set is. Mine's pretty big, as you saw. So let's wait for it. All right, so you can see right here, we got these chunks right here. That's a sign that it's all done. So let's check it out. All right, that's chunk five right there. Let's see where it ends. All right, so that's 300 million right there. And you can see the row number in Excel right there. Check this out. Okay, looks good. Yep, and so we have those column names up there again. I think it just looks a lot better. And uh, just to be clear, once it hits that 700,000 mark, that's when it's going to go on to the next chunk. So this is sort of that cutoff point right there. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.